My name is Rachel Giselquist. My chapter title is Horizontal Inequality and Social Mobility. The study of social mobility helps us to understand how income and status changes over an individual's lifetime or from one generation to the next. I work on horizontal inequality, which is inequality between groups in society defined in ethnic or cultural terms. So for instance, racial groups in the United States, indigenous and non-indigenous populations in much of Latin America, racial groups in South Africa. Horizontal inequalities can lead to conflict, and they can also create barriers to economic development. We often contrast horizontal inequality with vertical inequality, which is inequality between individuals and households. In this chapter, we present a new conceptual framework that links social mobility with horizontal inequality. Imagine a poor household in a country with low social mobility. This is quite a common situation in developing countries. Parents in this household may invest a lot in their children, but no matter how much they invest, it might still take three, four, five generations for their children to move up in society. Now imagine the same household in a country where there's a great deal of ethnic difference and, and horizontal inequalities between groups are high. So in this situation, parents might invest the same amount in their children, but no matter how much they invest, um, and no matter how long we wait, the inequalities will still persist. This cycle of inequality will continue unless we deal with the unevenness in the playing field. We have to pay special attention to groups that are excluded in many countries, to think about positive discrimination, affirmative action, whatever you want to call it, in order to create a truly level playing field. What you and Water can do is set the agenda to inspire research that can help us understand this complex issue.